here today at a residence in Coral Gables where the uh, infestation of the giant African snail was found. Actually, it's in the neighborhood. But this specific residence uh, has had a crew of people out trying to collect as many snails as they can to get rid of them for the last two days. Today we came out looking for some more, and sure enough, here's, here's one up here. There's another one down lower. There's a couple down there on the ground under the bush. I see some out here in the lawn. And the thing is, these snails, even though there's people looking, they're not always obvious. A lot of times they're hidden, and they've got to actually be scraped or dug out of the detritus to find them. Um, so far, there's been over 200 collected on this property alone. Uh, you, you just, just from that, you can, you can tell by the sheer numbers and then all the dead and dying and over the years, a build up of, build up of shells, um, the shells themselves can become a hazard. Their sheer population size within an area like this residence makes them a major concern for the Department of Agriculture and just people who live in Florida. Well, we're coming around the back of this yard uh, where you know, so many snails have been found in the last couple of days. I just want to have a look for some more, but also to sort of point out where we've been finding them. They're everywhere. Um, during the day, they, they'll hide in damp and shaded areas because it's just too hot for them. Uh, during at night they'll come up and crawl on the surfaces and feed on the plants so we found them in places like you know, up up under the eaves um, down around brush and hiding under things around your house uh, they have seemed to like places i say that, that are damp like drips off your air conditioner and i see there is a nice one right down here uh, the grass here luckily well maybe not it hasn't been mowed lately the shells of these things, if they're hit by a lawnmower, uh, can be quite nasty. Yep, there's one there. And just nestled down in beneath the grass. Uh, another place that we, they always seem to hang out are potted plants, I guess because people water them. And earlier we found some here underneath this. And yep, yep, here's another one still. Actually, here's, here's two, a little tiny one. Um, even though our, you, know, you look and you look and you might miss them, then you know, a few hours later they might crawl out of their hiding spot. So we keep looking and the bananas, they picked a whole batch off of yesterday. And I uh, saw a couple small ones here earlier. Yep, here's another nice one. Came out from underneath some detritus. These. Uh, like I say, these snails are just everywhere. And uh, it's, you know, being that there have been teams of people out here picking on these properties for the last two days, um, and we're still finding even, even these large snails, it's gonna be a while before we manage to get rid of them. We're gonna have a lot of work ahead of us.